Ring, 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 ring. Who could it be? Just him. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope everyone's doing well today. I'm here with Ringway Manchester, and we are going to be testing out something interesting that I've just got hold of. This little device here, which is called a Python. 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 <laughs> So this little device is basically a police and emergency services radio scanner, in effect. And it alerts you of police radios and obviously other emergency services radios like ambulance and fire brigade um, if they're in the vicinity. So make of that what you will. It's perfectly legal. There's disclaimers on the company's website saying it's legal. So today we're going to check it out and just see if it works and, and what happens. So the way it works, you've got like a little power LED there showing that it's on. And you can see those numbers going up there. Basically, if it detects something, you get a noise, um, like a little bleep, and um, some LEDs light up. So I've actually noticed it do it already. Um, and an ambulance went past on the road earlier. Unfortunately, didn't catch it on camera. But um, let's head out and just see see what happens. So how do you reckon this works then? Well, I, I, I haven't looked into it. The first time I saw this is when I, I came down to you yesterday. So in simple terms, the police use repeaters. So you have the, the handheld from the police officer going up into a repeater and the repeater transmits. But we, we seem to think that that is monitoring mm. the handheld channels. Yeah, definitely. So like the uplink from the radio. Yeah. So it's like detecting, you know, a radio transmitting because the radios transmit, I think, even if they're not actually talking. Yeah, so they, they constantly ping. It's like a handshake where mm. they, they, they basically say like to the network, can you hear me? And the network goes, yes. Like a mobile phone does yeah. all, all the time, constantly. It's constantly pinging. And yeah, we, we, we seem to think it's the, it's the handhelds, the uplinks to the repeaters because the repeaters are quite strong and it would mm. they would sort of desensitize something like that and from the sort of the experience we've had playing around with it we think it's just monitoring the 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 uplink channels from the handhelds so yeah yeah, yeah. but I, I would guess it's software defined mainly from like a cost point of view and yeah well we're, we're gonna play with it aren't we and, and yeah we'll see see, we see, what the bottom it, of it. see if it works yeah because the emergency services network works on its own dedicated band, doesn't it? So there's no way that's going to pick up like a, a truck radio or a taxi no. or something like that. This is exclusively for that. So we're going to go for a drive and we'll see how it works. Right, so we're just driving into the town. There's a police station up here. So I reckon if we go past there, there's got to be loads of police radios there, isn't there? It's not doing anything as yet. There's no, no alerts. Obviously, doing the speed limit and keeping everything, you know, in check. This is not the reason for having this sort of thing. It's just to let you know when something's around. Like an emergency situation could could be like a car crash or something could have happened ahead. Right. There we go. So there was a there was a hit then. It's a hit then. So that's there you are. So you got a full signal hit. So are we near? Uh, right. So there's the police station, isn't it? Yeah, that is the police station. That is actually the police station there. We'll go around this roundabout. No, that's interesting. Oh, they are. So it's, yeah, it's basically, right, literally just showing full scale as we're coming past the police station. Yeah, doing it again now. So it, it seems to like not just keep bleeping, which is interesting. It's not like just continuously bleeping um, at you, which probably is a good thing, but the lights are just permanently on. So maybe it just bleeps once to let you know when something significant's happened. Right, just got out of the car. I want to just try something. Just hold this up in the air by this bridge and see. There's a big bridge here with a dual carriageway. And we'll just see, you know, what it can pick up on there. I can't really park on there because the car's too low. Lewis is keen. He's doing a video on this as well. So go check his channel out. So yeah, let's just hold this here and see, see what happens. <laughs> it's getting bored. People might think we're, we're like trying to get them for speeding. <laughs> Look, there you go. That was an ambulance, obviously. Let's St. Kells. Probably the same one, actually. So we're back in the car now. Um, couldn't be bothered to stand that bridge any longer, could we? <laughs> um, there's an ambulance up ahead, so we're sort of following it, just in the flow of traffic. And it keeps like chirping, doesn't it? So it's showing two lights. So these radios, they do just like beacon every now and again, and you know, they're constantly transmitting. So if you're sort of sitting behind something or something's behind you, you're going to get like constant sort of notifications, which is pretty cool. It's funny. I pointed the camera back towards that VM that's up here, uh, 
your backside and your back's off. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So something's near, isn't it? Well, it's falling now, but that's probably because some traffic's left the roundabout while we slow down. Well, it, it sort of falls down, it gets an alert, and then it goes dum, 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 until it gets another one, and then yeah. it goes back up. So it's got like a timing thing on it. That's what I've Yeah, so you can see it, it's counting down there, back to, back to nothing. Yeah. They do like external antennas for them as well. I've got one, but to be honest, I don't think it needs to be any better, like the reception. The only thing you could do is obviously mount that lower, you know, out of, out of kind of eye view. I, I wouldn't really want that on my dashboard, cluttering it up. Well, we've just come over to a multi-story car park now. Let's see what we can see from up here. So if we can get any alerts. But it was picking up that fire engine down by the roundabout, wasn't it? it literally yeah. like showed, it was showing on the on the device like even before the fire engine popped up. So that's yeah. pretty cool. Right, at another location now. Another busy road. Yes, got the shot. Got the shot we got the shot. <laughs> God, it's taken us ages to try and you know get that actually in in the camera. Um, shame it we're in a police car, but you know yeah, we just tell the ambulance didn't we? We were in front of it. We we we, we knew it was going to come down there, so we came in the petrol station, <laughs> angled up the car right sort of in his direction, and then yeah, he just got it. Yeah, and there was like people waiting to come out. We were like, <laughs> Hold on a sec. <laughs> We've attracted some suspicious looks t today. Yeah, we have with the camera. So people look like a speed trap. Like, what's that? <laughs> That is the nice. thing, but it's, it definitely it's definitely working. Like it's doing exactly what it said it's <laughs> said it's supposed to do. It just detects um, emergency services vehicles and personal any, personnel, anyone that's got a radio on them, it, it will pick up. Yeah, so we, we, pretty much hundred percent foolproof. So we've got a police. We've, we've had a police car. We've had yeah. an ambulance. We've had a fire. Yeah, we've had it all, haven't we? So the other thing with like unmarked police cars is obviously it's beeping and we're not seeing anything. It could be that could be an unmarked. Yeah, or oh, the, the Ministry of Defence. Yeah, they, they use, use it. They use Tetra certain parts of that, so. It's interesting. So, Lewis is going to do a kind of different style video on this as well, um, which we're quite excited about it. So, go check it out on his channel. And um, yeah, we'll call it a day for this one. And I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah.